Hey and welcome to part 5 of my medieval Star Wars series. In this one we're going to continue sculpting in ZBrush and we will focus on the mortar and apply the rocks onto the wall. So as always, let's just jump straight into it. Alright, so I removed the duplicates and now we are left with 7 rocks with 6 sides each. So we now basically have 42 different sides to work with and basically 42 distinct rocks. And initially I wanted to have six, but yeah, the more the better, so why not? And I want to keep my high polys, so I'll move them to the right first. Maybe a bit more to the right. Let me explain in a second. So those are now our base rocks and they are quite high poly. And as mentioned, they won't be really visible from, from near, but from quite far. So we don't need that high poly count. So for example, this rock has 1.7 million polygons and that's quite too high, but I want to keep them nonetheless. So let's move them a bit farther away and we're going to hide them soon. So now we will, we're going to duplicate all of them. So let's press Ctrl, Shift and D. Let's move them to the side again. So let's go here to sub tools. Let's click on that and let's hide all of them. Just going to keep them for safety because who knows what happens. So I want to have my high poly rocks until the project is finished. And maybe we can reuse them in a different project. So it's nice to have them here. Um, anyway, let's go to geometry and let's decrease the subdivision level to maybe two. Still enough details. Let's keep it at two. Um, now I go to delete higher. So we are only left with the um, lower poly version. Let's do the same for this one. And here you have to check as all of those have different poly counts. You might want a different subdivision level to keep. This one is fine at one. This is fine at one as well. This as well. So we probably can set most of them to subdivision level one. As you can see, there's not really anything changing from that distance. So that's quite fine. That might be a bit too low. Maybe not. So I think all of them are quite fine at, ah, this one will be too low. Let's use that, subdivision level two. And as you can see, they look basically the same, but when I zoom in, they are not as crisp anymore, but that's okay. And yeah, now let's take this one and duplicate it. And we'll place it on our wall, how we want to have it in the end. So for this first one, we have to not only keep attention to the front side here, but also to the right side. We we'll probably move this away a bit later on. Maybe let's do it now. Actually, let's do it later. It's not a problem for now. But I think that looks good. Let's rotate it a bit. Actually, maybe let's rotate it like this. So we won't have this gap at the bottom. Now we need to move it here. Great, let's take our next one. So for the bottom, I want to go with the bigger ones first, but then we can always scale, scale them. Let's maybe rotate this one as well. This one can go a bit lower. Don't necessarily want to make mortar at the bottom here, but actually we can just move it like that. Maybe a bit to the front and to the right. So now try to place your rocks like you want to have them in the end. That looks quite cool with the gap. We can um, use the rock and maybe scale it down and put it there. Maybe we can scale them down as well. 
So I'd, I would like to have three rocks at the bottom here. Now let's use this one maybe. Let's put it here. I want to go for a more messy wall. So let's rotate them a bit. Let's use this. Put it to the top here. And let's try to have them a bit continuous. Not completely, because you want to have that high difference as well. But not too much. Maybe let's put it like this. Let's use this one. Copy as well. Maybe try to remember which one you took so that you don't have repetition at the same place. But this will be quite obvious, so you can always change that. Like so, maybe. Then the next one. I think we use this, so let's go with that one. Oh, actually, this is this as well. Let's use this. So now we are placing them like you would like to have them. Can just maybe duplicate this one. Yeah, let's use this one. Let's duplicate it and rotate it. Maybe this side. Let's scale, scale it down quite much. So for those I'd wished I would have a lower subdivision level. But that's okay for me. And we can always use some of the tools to move it a bit and make it a bit more interesting. So now let's apply our first first pass of the mortar for this as I don't want to keep the video too long. I will do it as with the other ones. I'll show you how it works now and then I'll speed up the video and if there's anything else to mention I'll, I'll mention it. So we now select this wall here and I already dynameshed it. It has a resolution of 20,000. Let's maybe do it again. I don't know if I did every, anything here or not. So let's start clean. And as a first pass, let's use the clay built up with the default brush, uh, brush alpha and this spray stroke. Then we just can sculpt between the edges, uh, between the gaps here. So this will be our first mortar pass. As you can see, it looks quite nice and interacts nicely with the rocks. You can always also use um, sculpting in the negative direction to make it a bit more detailed. It's maybe a bit too much. And at this part, we will also blur it a bit. You could also use a bit of the move brush so we can get, get some gravity effect going as well. As you can see, we're working currently with quite a low resolution. And later on, we will probably um, blur that a bit and use a different alpha. I have a stone noise here that's also made with Instamat. Then we can apply this on, on the mesh. But we do that when we have a higher resolution here. As you can see, it's not really making any difference for now. So let's go back here. Maybe go a bit in the negative direction. Yeah, and that's basically how we will continue. So we'll be using a rock from here. Can use this one again, but maybe rotate it. So again, we have many sides, so we won't have much repetition on the whole wall. I probably want to have it a bit more in between here. 
Also, it looked quite nice at this place. But I don't want to have too many straight lines. Can maybe scale it down a bit. Then let's use maybe this one again. No, let's use this one again. Actually, it's on the top and the bottom here. So let's use this. Let's duplicate it. Rotate. Let's for now hide those. This one is a bit tricky at this place, at least. Maybe let's use this side. This won't be visible much, so we don't need to pay too much attention on, at this side, but at this side it will be more tricky, I think. Yeah, but like that looks nice, I think. So we can go here again. Sculpt a bit more mortar. Can also sometimes use this brush to build up a bit and make straighten it up a bit. And we can go back to clay build up, go in the negative direction. Maybe let's make it a bit bigger. And this will be a spot for a smaller rock again. Can use... Maybe we can use just this again and rotate it. So we always try to make it easier. How does it look from that side? Not too bad, actually. Let's take another rock. Let's use this again. Maybe let's use this side. So yeah, I'll speed the video up and when we go into detailing, I'll let you know. This rock is really a bit too much to the side here. But again, for this side, we don't really need to pay too much atten attention as it won't be visible due to the other um, other walls yeah great so again i speed this up and when we go into detailing i'll let you know
so that's that for that video and thanks for watching in the next one we're going to continue our zbrush sculpt and sculpt those rocks on the top and make some other things so make sure not to miss it and see you next time